Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose. Today is not a fun day. No, we are leaving soon, going to the airport, and sadly going back to cold Wisconsin. It's actually going to be in the 50s, so it's not cold for Wisconsin, you know? Not yet. No. But has it been a good trip? Yes, it has been a great trip. I'm so thankful I got to be able to do that. Was it fun seeing your your mom and sister surprise you? Yeah, that was really fun. I mean, you didn't even know you were going to Disney World. No. And here we are. are. You went to how many parks? Two. Two. Two parks. What was your favorite, Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios? Um... I'd have to say Magic Kingdom just because, like, I kind of forgot what we did in Hollywood. <laughs> um, Star Wars, Slinky Dog Dash. Oh, yeah. Mickey and oh, Minis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Pro- <sighs> it's a tough one, right? Yeah. No, it's tough. It's tough. Like, the roller coasters at Magic Kingdom were amazing. Hollywood Studios had a lot more options, you know, to go mm-hmm. to different places. I don't know. It's a tough one. Isla, what was your favorite? Do you have a favorite off your top of your head right now? I have two. Okay. I have, um, no, I actually have three. I have Slinky Dog Dash, um, Mount Everest, and, um, I forgot what it's called. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train? Haunted Mansion? Big Thunder Mountain Railroad? Yeah, that one. Which one? The Big the Bay Mountain Thunder, whatever, one. Oh, that was also my favorite. I liked all those. All yeah, good she, options. She got, she got to... She, they went to what, Epcot. We well, did. Well, we had to, you know, wait in the car <laughs> and ended up not playing. So we got ready for nothing. His baseball game got canceled and he got to come to Disney. Yeah. Anyways, with that, welcome back to your Daily Dose. We're saying goodbye and uh, we're going to go on a walk. Welcome back. Let's go have some fun. Oh my gosh. Is this the housekeeping tip? You guys didn't have to. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is going to cover... All my expenses for the day, $2. Thanks. Thanks. I was like, you have to tip the housekeeping? (laughs) One of these days. I don't know what they're watching, but apparently this is what kids watch these days. No, it's just something we haven't watched in a long time. Um, You guys don't have Netflix? Ryan and Ashley gave me this this hat. I don't know where they got it, but for my whole whole life, they have always given me good gifts. This is technically a housekeeping (laughs) gift as well. For clean up. <laughs> it's gonna be my first time cleaning up a whole house full of guests. I'm so proud of you, Kyle. Thanks. <laughs> also, if you're wondering where Casey is, she's right here, but she's getting ready for for work, so she's off camera right now. And probably until like the remainder of the day. I will say the guests at the Polynesian do have to handle their own luggage. There's no bell services. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we got uh <laughs> Grayson playing. A new game, boy. This is sick. <laughs> you have a knife up. Press Y. There you go. Cool. All right, storm the beach. Storm the beach. It's it's so realistic. I'm I'm, I'm like speechless right now. What? This looks exactly. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but no, nope, that's your teammate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. While uh, Grayson's playing some video games on the Xbox X. I gotta talk about my little camera here. I actually had to order a brand new lens and it should be coming today because the rain and the cold, I've dropped this camera a lot, like many times. Um, My camera base is fine, it's just the lens. Um, Now in the cold or just sometimes randomly, it makes like a sound and it makes it really inconsistent to vlog. So I had to get a new lens, it's the G Master, Sony G Master 16 to 36, I believe it's the version two, so it's a little bit better. I'm gonna see if this one works for me because there's not gonna be some stabilization in it, but it's gonna be more clear, and I just might have to be more cons- like on point when I'm filming so it doesn't be as bouncy. We're gonna test it out, and if I don't like it, I'm gonna return it because it did come with a hefty price. I think it was a total 2400 it's, it's expensive, these cameras add up. I mean, this one's done good for me. It's lasts about four years. It's just I've dropped it twice, and you know, when you drop stuff, it breaks. Probably will do some testing in tomorrow's video unless it comes a little bit later today. I think it's estimated at like 10 o'clock tonight, but we'll see if it comes early. And I can't wait to kind of start filming on that. It's gonna be a little bit crispier, but again, trial and error. We'll see what happens. But a little bit kind of sad that 
this lens when I start out my full-time job is no longer, my full-time job here on YouTube is no longer good. Super sad. And just like that, it is, it's checkout time. Ryan's ready out the door. Say bye. 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 It was so much fun. I think we're all exhausted. Yesterday was a long, a long day, but it was fantastic. Fun day. We had so much fun. Hey, racehorse, say bye. Bye. Let's go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye. Later, Tater. Until next time. Later, Tater Tot. Well, this stinks now. It's the worst part about living down here. Everyone's gone. Casey's gone. Obviously, Ryan, Ashley, Grayson, and Isla, Isla are all gone. I gotta clean up the house. It's like the first cleanup of like full-time guests staying here throughout the house. Obviously my mom and dad were here and now I got this big old house to myself. Real quick, I've, um, I've kind of been hiding. Oh, this is really bad lighting. I have a better idea. Even though that was okay. Is this better? Oh, this is great. Um, I kind of just want to I haven't really talked to you guys recently and I kind of just want to talk to you guys. And like since I moved in, I haven't really sat down and really chatted with you. Obviously, it's just been super duper busy. Family have been here and today or these past couple days have been pretty darn hectic for how I typically film YouTube videos, especially at the Disney parks when it was obviously crowded this weekend. We had President's Day weekend and now we're getting into spring break. So I kind of just want to sit down and just vent you guys real quick on some issues that I personally have been having. Before I get into it, um, the past couple of years, just kind of get a little bit more of a backstory. The past couple of years have been flawless, meaning my health has been amazing. But since I moved on into the house and my mom and dad were here, I've been really having some issues with my health that are kind of concerning that I've been trying to not really avoid, but hopefully it kind of gets better as it goes on. And for those of you who are new around here, I've actually, um, I have a broken back and it's been good for the past couple of, of years, but now I don't know if it's with the cold or it's something like I slept on it wrong, but it hasn't been going away and I've given it like two weeks and I'm still kind of getting there. It's just really stiff. I have a disease called ankylosing spondylitis and ankylosing spondylolithesis. My back is broken like this. It slipped and I have an L5 or it's an L3 crack. I was braced in um, eighth grade and it's been good pretty much ever since besides my ankylosing uh, spondylitis, which is an inflammation disease. But now the main concern right now is, is my back and it just, it hurts. I've been putting in like, you know, 12 hour days at the Disney parks recently. And I don't know if it's a combination with, with all the moving and stuff. And it's got me a little concerned. I'm probably gonna give it like a couple more weeks to see what ultimately happens. But I've been in a lot of pain, a lot of soreness, and it's hard for me to walk, which I've been really fortunate these past couple years to have no pain at all. But for some reason, the pain is back. And I have a feeling it's, kind of been from sleeping on the couch sometimes and I wake up and it's really stiff, but in the past it's gone away, but it's kind of just sticking. So I'm a little bit concerned. I kind of want to take a little bit off on the pedal today and have more of an easy day. Hence this might be a shorter video, but I kind of wanted to inform you guys on what's ultimately going on with me and my health. Nothing like crazy, but it's more like I'm thinking about it cautiously now when I'm in the parks. So I might have to get a new bed. I don't know what the issue is, but for some reason, I'm just in a ton of pain. And I know it's not the end of the world, but you know, it's my whole life I've been dealing with this and it's never really happened like how I'm experiencing it right now at the moment. So I'm a little scared, a little worried, but um, life will go on and hopefully it does get better. I do stretches every morning. I'm probably gonna have to start doing more core exercises. Um, I don't know if my core's gotten weaker or what, but yeah. I was gonna go to the parks today, I was gonna push it, but I really feel like I just need a day of just resting, maybe doing some heat, doing some ice, taking some pills. Advil really doesn't work, so that's what I'm kind of concerned. I don't know if it's a muscle or a bone thing. I think it's more of a, of a bone thing, but I just, my back aches, and I wanna take care of myself, so I'm gonna just kinda chill, 
clean up like I said, but even touching my lower back here, it's sore. It's definitely like a bone thing. I don't know what I did moving. That's why I got movers. That's why I don't really lift too much anymore, at least with my back. So yeah, that's what's been going on. I've been meaning to tell you guys, but just didn't really have an opportunity to sit down and tell you what's going on with, with me. It's like, you know, not the end of the world, but that's why I don't really feel like I wanna do much today inside the parks. I know there's something cool at Hollywood Studios that just opened that we've been covering for a while. I saw, I'm like, ah, I wanna go, but we're gonna chill today. We're gonna chill and, and relax. It's even like when I get up to when it's just, it's just sore. So I ultimately don't really know what to do that's gonna help it. So it does have me worried, especially the cold weather does not help. And again, it's the lower back, not the upper back. It's definitely bone. It's not muscle. Usually in the past, I don't think I would bring this up, but there might be a couple days where I potentially don't want to push myself and I end up not vlogging. So you guys might know if I miss a day or something, it's because I'm taking care of my back or whatever it is. But yeah, it just, it aches and it usually goes away, but unfortunately it hasn't. I did just read a ton of your comments on a video in the past, the, the baseball game one. We don't know if we're going to get a circle carpet. It, it's just kind of like, you know, it's tough. We think we're okay with this. I'm gonna let Casey ultimately make the decision to see what she wants if we return this for a, a circle carpet slash rug. So we'll see, we'll see. Also, these are the cheapest blinds on the planet. It kind of reminds me of college. So we're gonna try to get this replaced or just get curtains up as soon as possible. Because as you see, some already broke. These are literally the cheapest things ever. I think it came with the house but these are garbage. I do know today I'm gonna to be joining Casey with lunch. It'll probably be an off-camera adventure, but even going up steps too is just kind of, it just aches, it's sore. I definitely gotta ice it and heat it today. It's like a must. Oh, you know what's cool too? Cause you know, I have a house now on my 2024 taxes. Speaking of that, I gotta send my stuff over to my accountant today on 2023 taxes. I can write off, the, write off this area as a tax write-off for an office space in the house. Pretty cool, I love taxes. Well, not taxes, I love like tax deductions. <laughs> I'm not sure how, I, I'm just finishing up one of the edits on the video, the last one at Magic Kingdom. It was just so fun to be here with, with them since it was their first time and I wanted to document a lot of their first reactions and I kept a lot of stuff in there that I probably would normally cut it's just I want Grace and Isla to look back on their first Disney trip and always have those memories and obviously memories to come too. It's just so cool to live through them. And I really did feel like it was my first time too. So when I have kids, it's just going to be like, I cannot wait to see the reaction and hopefully they do love it as well. I mean, you know, it's Disney. They should love it. My future kids, hopefully. But it was just such a fun, fun time. I can't wait for them to come back because there's so much we didn't even do. But you'll never forget your first visit at Disney. And Grace and I will have some nice videos to look back on and probably watch Home in Wisconsin. I hope you guys enjoyed that series. It was just oh, so much fun. Dinner date, or sorry, lunch. It's, it's, been, it's been a long couple of days. We're, we're headed to Chipotle here in celebration for lunch. Hey Casey. Hi. We just had our annual Starbucks run when Casey's on lunch. What annual, did you get? Our annual Starbucks. Well, it's gonna be an annual. Yeah, we don't do that often. But I want um, to. I got the what is it? The ice cinnamon shaken espresso oat milk situation. So good. Kyle just took a sip and he was like, "This reminds me of," and I said, "Disneyland." I said, yes. <laughs> reminds me of Disneyland. Every time in Disneyland, huh? Yeah, it's like the brown sugar one. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like Disneyland. I can literally picture so me in downtown Disney right now, hopping on over to California Adventure. Oh, what a dream. I wish we were there. <laughs> I want to go so bad. I used to. I miss it. 
<laughs> All right, we gotta drink some and then you'll just be reminded. No, it's okay. You, you, you gotta have that for work. We gotta drop her back off. We came to downtown celebration. Amazon is amazing. My package is already here. I ordered it pretty much at 10 o'clock last night. And it's right here. My new lens. Amazon is truly something else. I actually don't think I need a box cutter for this. I just can't believe I ordered this yesterday. Yesterday night. And it's already here. Here is our new lens that I'm going to be using for the videos. Not a cheap one at that, but it's the newer G Master. It's gonna be my first G Master. I'm a little bit worried about the weight of the lens itself because it's heavier than this bad boy. And um, we'll do some testing. If it's not the right fit, I am gonna end up returning this because I don't know if it's gonna crop my, my video. We'll find out, but here is a very, very expensive camera lens that I promise I will never drop. Boom. There she is. Beautiful. Definitely heavier than the one that I have, for sure. And see that G? These are the best camera lenses for Sony, the G Masters. They are expensive because of the glass that they're made out of. And also, this goes down to 2.8 or 2.4. I think it's 2.8. So in the dark, it's gonna be even better. So can't wait to film those dark rides and, and film at night. But most importantly, it's gotta do what I want it to do. If it doesn't, we're taking it back. Or we're shipping it back. So real quick, here is what this lens looks like. And here is what the new lens looks like. Again, you're not gonna be able to notice a difference until it's in dark situations. You might be able to, it's, it's better glass. I just gotta learn how to use it. It's, it's way bigger. So here's my old one. Definitely lighter, and I'm worried about the stability as well when we're walking. Hopefully it does a pretty decent job and it's not totally wobbly. Gonna try to keep it clean because I don't know the return policy. I'm just kind of testing it out just to, to see how it looks because if it's a little bit wobbly, I probably might end up returning it or I'm gonna have to hold the camera like this a little bit better. It really depends. Let's go check it out, I'm excited. I'm hoping for the price it's better, but we have a new chapter on the videos today. We upgraded the equipment, we upgraded the base, and now the, the lens is finally upgraded to what I've wanted. Actually, I wanted this two years ago, but I waited for this one to come out, which is lighter. It doesn't really feel as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. Definitely a little bit of a difference, but not dramatically and not a lot of a difference. I will say something that you are gonna notice on my shots now is the background is gonna be blurrier when it is my face. That is built into this lens. I'm not sure if I can take that off or not, but it's here to stay. I think that has something to do with the focus. Like that's in focus right now, and now it's blurry. I'm unsure. I'm learning the lens, I'm learning the lens, but I think I'm gonna do auto focusing and I think that might blur the background. I'm unsure, I'm excited to test this bad boy on a dark ride because this is gonna show the whole power of my camera and lens combined. What do you guys like more? The blurry background? See how it's blurry, you can't really read that? Or the manual focus, but now we got a problem is my face is now blurry, so I think we're gonna have to go with the blurry background unless I can figure out some way to fix this. Wait a second, look at this. I just fixed it, but I can't, can I, I don't think I can have both in focus, can I? Look at that, it's blurry. I don't know what it's focusing on. It's manual focus, that's kind of cool. Whoa, look at this. I think we're gonna do autofocus. We'll see, let me know what you guys think, I don't know. Kind of getting used to it here. I uh, am fixing, the, I guess the aperture is what makes it blurry. I think I've put some settings on here that make it better so you, it's not blurry. See that, if I lower the aperture, it's blurry. Now if I put it back to like normal, it's fine. Hmm. I just got home from work, you guys. This feels so weird. 
He handed me the camera and said, vlog away. So here we are. I was just pretending to vlog and he was like, why don't I actually give you the camera? Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, bye bye. What do you guys think of the new camera? The, this is huge. Very big, but ah, I love this. I love it, I love it, love it. Worth the investment and I'm happy. I also rested a lot today. My back's feeling a little bit better. Been icing and heating on and off, doing some stretches. I think we're doing good. We're doing so. good. We're gonna make some food. I don't know, we're gonna go on a walk. We love going on walks. We're officially old. Well, with all of that, everybody, um, I'm just gonna probably end the video right here. Probably a little bit shorter of a video um, for obvious reasons. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm really excited about what tomorrow is gonna be. A, I'll let you know. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys, and um, that was it for Daily Dose. Can't wait to test out this new camera lens. Bye-bye.